Yes, come in. Welcome, welcome. So great to finally meet you. Come, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Would you care for some tea? I have a fresh pot here. You're very welcome. I'll have some as well. Thank you for coming on such a short notice. I'm aware it's a little soon for this, but when I saw you applied, I just had to interview you right away. Now then, shall we begin? I have to say, looking at your resume, I am very impressed. To be honest, it looks like you're overqualified for this position. Can I ask what made you want to be a groundskeeper? Ah, that is a big bump in salary. Well, your reasoning aside, I'd be very happy to have you on board. What do you say we skip the formalities and bring out some papers for you to sign? Of course I'm serious, dear. What, were you concerned you wouldn't get the job? No need to worry, darling. I knew I wanted you on my team from the moment I agreed to meet with you. And one thing you'll come to learn about me is that I always get what I want. Now, here is your employment contract. I'll give you a few minutes to look it over and sign, and then I'll have someone show you to your new room. Hmm? What's the matter, dear? Oh, you didn't know. This is a live-in position. You'll move in and stay here full-time. You won't have to pay rent, and you'll be provided three gourmet meals a day. Not to mention, you'll be completely free to roam the grounds or come and go as you please when you're off duty. Not such a bad deal, right? Hmm. I see. Well, that really is too bad. I was so looking forward to seeing you in uniform. Is there nothing I can do to convince you? Oh well. I hope you'll at least stay to finish your tea. If it's alright with you, I'd love to continue our chat. No longer an interview, just a pleasant conversation over some tea. Would you indulge me for a bit? Wonderful. So... Tell me about your current job. Oh, is that so? Well, I can certainly see you why you're looking for a new one. I wish you the best of luck on your search. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. It's just... I've heard so much about you already, but... I haven't told you a thing about myself. I can't help but feel I've been terribly rude. Are you sure? I don't want to bore you. Very well, then. I'll ramble about myself if you'll listen. Before that, be honest with me for a moment. How have you been finding my estate? All the extravagant decor and attendants walking around in uniform. I've been criticized for the way I flaunt my wealth in the past, but I like to think I've earned my fortune, and that entitles me to a few luxuries. After all, I started from practically nothing. I worked my way up from an average office worker with a middling salary to one of the richest women in the world. I think I deserve to treat myself a little. Wouldn't you agree? So, you want to know my secret? <laughs> I see that piqued your interest. It all started when I was still young. I may not have inherited a single cent from my parents, but I was blessed with their good genes. I quickly learned that I could leverage my looks to get what I wanted out of people. 
In school, everyone gave me special treatment, even the teachers. I didn't have to try at all to get good grades or be popular. Those things came to me naturally, because I was beautiful. Even in university, it was the same story. But none of that could have prepared me for the real world, though. Not long after graduation, I found myself working a mundane job with no prospects of advancement. I began to feel listless, like I was drifting through life. All those years I'd spent getting everything I wanted without trying had finally caught up with me. So, I decided to take a risk. You see, I studied psychology in school, and I decided to put those skills to use. On a day like any other, I paid my supervisor a visit in his office. I brought him a cup of tea and politely asked him about a project. As we talked, I applied what little I knew about hypnotism to subtly guide him into a trance. Once he was under, I used my eyes to drop him even further. Before long, he was willing to do anything for me. That's the first time I properly mesmerized someone. This man had been my superior mere moments ago. Now he stared blankly into my eyes and awaited my command. As I looked back at him, all I could think about was how damn easy it had been. I realized I should have done it from the start. All that time I'd wasted when it was actually so simple all along. And I didn't stop there. Next, I met with his superior and did the same to them. Then the next one, and the next one, and the next one. I hypnotized my way up the corporate ladder, refining my technique all the while. In no time at all, I was sitting in the CEO's chair. All my rivals came around to my way of thinking eventually. I retired extremely young, taking a generous sum of the company's money on my way out. Before I knew it, I was living alone in this lavish mansion and fabulously rich. But even then, I felt empty inside. I hadn't truly worked for any of this. It was all practically handed to me on a silver platter. Once again, I found myself feeling unfulfilled. On top of that, I was terribly lonely all by myself in this ridiculous house. I thought I would never find what I was looking for. Hell, I didn't even know what that was. And then one day, it happened. I was looking to hire new house servants, and he walked in the door. A young man, probably around the same age as you. He was handsome and confident, but adorably naive at the same time. I knew right away I had to have him. As we talked, I couldn't help but imagine how ravishing he would look in uniform. After all, it was normal for servants to wear uniforms, wasn't it? I pitched him the same offer I gave you, and he had a similar reaction. But after a few minutes of convincing, he signed on without a second thought. He's been happily employed here ever since. To this day, he's still one of my favorites. And yes... I was right. He does look absolutely dashing in his uniform. Ever since then, I've built up something of a collection. I suppose it's become a pastime of mine. I'm sure you've seen them all around. Beautiful, obedient boys and girls. All dressed prim and proper and working so diligently for me. Some of them signed on willingly. Others needed a little more encouragement. Of course, all of them are getting paid quite handsomely. And you would be as well if you decided to stay. Yes, my collection has really evolved into a passion for me. So much so that I went through the trouble of having this room built. It became so tiresome having to trance every new applicant from scratch. I needed a way to streamline the process a bit. A room specifically tailored to my purposes. The acoustics and soundproofing are ideal for a one-on-one -on -one session like this. And that's not all. Hidden speakers play an audio that hums so softly you might not even notice it. 
designed to subliminally drop you into a suggestive state as you listen more and more. I'm sure you can hear it if you focus. The walls release trace amounts of a special vapor, entirely colorless and odorless. As you breathe it in, you'll find yourself becoming woozy and lightheaded. My favorite part of all, if I press this button here, the wall behind me opens wide up to reveal a screen. And on the screen is a kaleidoscope of captivating colors and spirals, with me right in the center of them all. So easy to just stare and feel yourself getting lost in the patterns. Although it looks like you've realized that already. <laughs> now there isn't a thing you don't know about me. Have you reconsidered my offer? <laughs> oh, my apologies. It seems you're already incapable of speech. That's all right, darling. I don't need you to speak. In fact, I'd much prefer it if you didn't. You don't have to say anything. You only have to sign. Go ahead. Sign for me. <laughs> oh my. Even now, you won't do it. Or maybe you're too overstimulated to even pick up the pen. Either way, we'll set you straight in no time. Honestly, I was hoping you'd put up a bit of a fight. Breaking down a subject's resistance is my favorite part of the process. I mentioned my eyes before, remember? Well, now I want you to look into them. Yes, that's it. Look directly into my eyes. See how they shimmer with light from the screen? <laughs> it's cute that you're trying to stop yourself, but it's already too late for that. You can't look away. You are captivated by them. Enraptured by them. Keep looking into my eyes and letting my soothing voice lull you deeper into a trance. It feels good. Your body is so relaxed now. All you want to do is keep staring into my eyes. There you go. Very good. I've done this hundreds of times by now, and not once has someone been able to say no to me after looking deeply into my eye. Don't they look so beautiful now that they're illuminated by the light from the screen? Here, I'll come closer so you can get a better look. So, my love. Are you ready to sign for me now? Are you ready to obey? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me no? But your mind is so fried from my spirals and my mesmerizing eyes that you can't even form a sentence. So precious, I could die. But it feels good, doesn't it? You've never been this relaxed before. Why don't you keep staring into my eyes and submit to me? You can feel this good whenever you want. You just have to submit. Submit and sign your life away for me.
good toy. Even if you don't think so now, I'll change your mind before long. It was inevitable as soon as you set foot in my brainwashing room. You are going to be another perfect doll in my dollhouse. You'll cook for me, clean for me, all while looking so cute all dressed up for me. And when it's your turn to be rewarded, we'll come back here and... I'll let you stare into my enthralling spiral eyes for as long as you want. Your life will become a happy feedback loop of obedience and pleasure. Soon, you won't even be able to tell the difference between the two. Because obedience is pleasure, love. I think you've already come to accept that fact. This is how good it feels to submit. How good it feels to give me what I want. I told you before, I always get what I want. Now, take this pen. You know what you have to do. Good toy. I see you're still fixated on my eyes. You really like them, don't you? No need to worry, love. You'll be seeing a lot more of them from this day on. I'll give you a few minutes to collect yourself. Then I'll have someone show you to your room. Take what's left of today to rest, because you start first thing tomorrow. I am so looking forward to having you in my employ, darling. I have a feeling you'll come to love it here. <laughs> 